Hey everybody. So I know I haven't made a video in a while and I apologize about that. I have been traveling lately and I'm actually in Thailand right now. Uh, but I have wanted to make this video for a while. Uh, this video is going to be about the only spiritual practice that matters. In my experience, in my opinion, there's only one spiritual practice that matters. And that's because there's only one spiritual practice that leads to the end of practice. There's only one spiritual practice that ends the spiritual search, this seeking, this craving for something more. It's the only path that dissolves the path and reawakens you to the simplicity and the clarity and the beauty of here and now, this present moment, which is the only place that any spiritual teaching is ever trying to guide you towards. It's the only place that any spiritual teaching could ever guide you towards is here and now. But for many people, the spiritual journey has taken them away from the present moment as they seek some deeper um, experience, some more complete state of enlightenment or liberation or freedom. And the sense is that this state can only be achieved in the future after you've learned more, or done more, or practiced more. Uh, but in reality, ironically, you can only find that deepened state, that heightened experience, that liberated, enlightened state by becoming more intimate with what's here and now, by becoming more present, by settling into this moment. So with all that in mind, the only spiritual practice that matters, I call it, there are many names for it, but I call it, breathe in love. Breathe in love. Breathe in, love. Breathe out, bliss. Breathe in love is another way of saying love your own heart or fall in love with the present moment. Fall in love with everything that enters your awareness, everything that's in your experience of life at this moment. So this practice basically consists of becoming present, allowing your mind to settle, and flooding your body, filling your whole being with love, and radiating that love outwards in all directions, indiscriminately, unconditionally, like the sun giving off light. And also radiating that love inwards, towards your own heart, towards yourself. Breathe in love means taking a moment to tell yourself authentically, genuinely, I love you. When's the last time you've told yourself, I love you? To be clear, this is not a narcissistic self-love. This is not a egoic or arrogant self-love. This is a love that celebrates the fact that you are a walking miracle. It's a love that gives gratitude and appreciation for the fact that you are part of this incredible symphony of life, that s somehow you are aware, experiencing this beautiful, incredible mystery. And hearing these words and sharing these ideas and sharing this love, Breathe in love is a celebration, and it feels so good. And in that simple act, in that simple act of just loving what's here, of breathing in love, of loving your own heart, every single spiritual goal and aim or objective is instantly accomplished. Enlightenment, liberation, realization, presence, mindfulness, meditation, ego death, manifestation, 
you name it. They're all instantly accomplished through the simple practice of breathe in love. And for that reason, breathe in love is the end of the spiritual search. It's the end of seeking. It's the end of this sense that you need something more before you can be enlightened. That you need something, some deeper experience. The reality of the fact is that you already are a divine, enlightened, miraculous being. And remembering that comes with becoming more intimate with what's already here in this moment, with breathe in love. So I hope that helps. I love you.